time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. Where is it at? Down there. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geeky Amanda, G-E-E-K-Y Amanda, same on Twitter. And it's time to get this movie review started. Alright y'all, I went to go see a little sneak peek of Tenet. Uh, with some other movie critics earlier this week. I actually got to watch it on the island. First, let me start off by saying, I think this movie deserves to be seen on the big screen because not only for the visual effects, which were stunning, all the cinematography, the action shots, it was beautiful on that big screen, but also because I really enjoy the music score. And with that Dolby Digital sound blasting and the, and the music score behind it with the action shots, it just made that movie for me, made it. I I even made the comment that this music score can rival that of Star Wars. I know I said it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it was up there, one of my favorites. From the moment the movie started and that music just started pounding, you can feel it. You can feel like the hairs on your arm rise. Now, this is one of those Christopher Nolan films. And if you don't know him, he also wrote and directed that movie Memento and Inception that starred Leonardo DiCaprio. So you know his background has these movies that are, are crazy. You don't understand. These cerebral, non-linear kind of movies that make you, at the end, question like what just happened and, and everything. I think he just tries to outdo himself with every movie, really, because Tenet is crazier than all of them. So it's a spy thriller, right? They have the, the, the lead who's called the protagonist. He's He's John David uh, Washington, played by played by John David Washington, the protagonist. And the movie starts out, he's on this mission, and he kind of gets captured, and he takes this pill, which I think is cyanide pill. And then he wakes up, but then he's in this place. You know, it was kind of like a test, and they tell him he's he's been recruited to go on this mission to actually save the world from, like, World War Three. Talk about having a little pressure on you right there, right? Explain they have this reverse radiation that makes things kind of travel back in time or in reverse and they kind of explain it by showing like the bullets. One is a regular bullet and one is like this reverse radiation bullet and when he, he like puts his hand down there with the gun, the bullet actually like goes backwards. Going to recruit, you know, a couple of people. One is this Mom, uh, Mumbai arms dealer, Priya. And he goes on to, you know, recruit his this other guy who's like a British you know, physicist, and that's played by Robert, Robert Pattinson. I was so impressed by Robert Pattinson's performance in this. You know, we know him as Edward in Twilight, but he also played some other things, and he has some other things coming up in The Batman, which I wasn't too sure about. But actually, watching him in this, you can just see his versatility as an actor. And now it's made me even more excited to see him in The Batman, because I think he does a phenomenal job. And they also got the bad guy. His name is Andre, and that's who they're going after. Apparently, he's behind all this reverse radiation stuff. And he's played by the Kenneth Bond. After he recruited these people and then going after a bad guy, he kind of enlists the bad guy's, uh, Andre's ex-wife, or current wife, but they're not really together to help him on this. Unknowingly, she's helping him on this. Of course, the only predictable part in this whole movie is that, you know, the protagonist kind of falls in love with her. Uh, but the rest of it, I'm just telling you, you're going to have your mind blown. You're not going to know what time you're in, where, what's going on, any of that. But regardless of all of this, regardless of, of all the confusion that's going on, you're still going to love it. <laughs> How is that even possible? I don't even know. I don't understand one thing that went on. I need to watch that movie three more times, two times maybe in reverse to even get a little clue what's going on. But still overall, I loved it. I think it was just a combination of... You know, the acting, the music, the action scenes, the crazy reverse going with forward with the time, all that together just made it an enjoyable movie to watch. Just don't think about it too Like I said, I think this one was worth watching. And if you can, be safe, but watch it on the big screen because that experience alone just sold it for me. So let me know what you think. If you plan on watching it, comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time, bye.